Hi guys, last video of the day, I promise, but I really wanted to film this and get this out to you. This is my products slash makeup I want to use up in 2014. First of all, let me tell you, the desk in front of me, because I'm sitting at my desk for this, is full. It is full of stuff. So let's start with makeup, because that's everyone's favorite, and then we'll move to fragrance, body care, and skin care. Something like that? Okay, good. Let's start with lip products because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 lip products I want to use up. Alright, that means I need to use that um, like to a month starting now. So, But some of them are minis, so let's just talk about these. And like, these are sort of aspirational goals for me, but they're... They're just ones that I want to put out there, that I want to use up. So, let's start with my three Buxom glosses. I love Buxom glosses. These two are repurchases. These are my second tubes of both of these colors. Um, and I also have White Russian, which is I got more recently, but they're still kind of old. Like, I just, I feel like I save these, and I shouldn't save them, because what am I saving them for? They're just lip gloss. They're going to go bad. I'm not going to meet the queen. It's okay. I just need to use my stuff. So I have White Russian, which is a creamy, beautiful nude. Um, Bambi, which is my second tube of it. I love this. And this one I've used like 15% of. This one I've used like 30% of. And then Amber, which I probably used about half of it. This is my second tube of Amber and Bambi, which means clearly I love them enough to purchase them again. They don't hurt my lips or anything like that, and they stay on for such a long time. That is why I adore them, and I don't think I'll be repurchased. I'll purchase it. I don't think I will purchase any other lip glosses except for Buxom glosses from now on, unless the color is super unique or something, which I doubt it is. Like, Buxom has over 100 shades of lip gloss. It's okay. My NARS lip gloss in Pillow Talk. I really want to use this up. I do not like this. It's old. It smells as terrible as it always did. I will swatch this one for you because it has some pigment. It's a beautiful berry color. It's very nice. I think this will be nice in the fall. I think in the fall this will be a really beautiful color for me. I have a mini Guerlain red lipstick. It's like Rouge Automatique. I don't know what the name is. It's a red lipstick. It's a mini. It came with a Sephora order a long time ago. I should be able to use this up. It's a miniature. I would also like to use up my Clinique Whoppin' Watermelon Chubby Stick. As you can see, I haven't even had to turn this up yet, but because everyone talks about how easy these are to finish, I just think it'll be good for me to do this. Plus, I can use this like when I'm at the beach or if I'm on vacation at all this year. Um, it's just a super easy color to wear. It's a bright pink, but it looks really natural on me at least. I would also like to finish up this mini fresh sugar lip treatment in coral. It's basically full. I got this free from work. Um, I love this. This definitely has color to it. It is not like the Clinique Chubby Stick. This has definite color to it, but it's really pretty and I don't want it to go bad sitting in my collection. And it's another miniature. You, I picked a lot of miniatures in this because I just, I want to be able to get the numbers down fast and minis are the way to go. Speaking of minis, two more minis for you. The Hourglass Lip Gloss in Muse. This is just a really... I don't know, like a like a peachy, nude, beigey color. The applicator is weird on this. Like, it's really bendy. I don't know. I don't really care for the applicator. And I don't even know how much is in here because when it comes out, it doesn't come out that full. And I only use this like once or twice. This was in a lash set that Sephora put out a, like a while ago, like a year ago. Also in that set, was this Laura Mercier Lip Glossé and Baby Doll. This is a really nice pink. It's a light pink with shimmer to it. It's that color right there. Again, it's a mini, so I feel like I should be able to use it up. My last four lip products are all Revlon Lip Butters. So, for the summertime, and so I bought all these Revlon Lip Butters 
when they first came out and CVS used to have this deal. It was a really awesome deal. It was like buy any Revlon lip color, get $4 extra bucks. These were like $6 and change at the time. So I could get them for like $2 and change. And I was just buying them in separate transactions so I could roll over the extra bucks. They don't have that deal much anymore. So the two that I would like to use up during like the summertime are Strawberry Shortcake, which I've used the most of out of all of these. I haven't used up that much. It's still pretty full. So, but there's not that much product in these. And it's a, it's a nice pink color. I'll be totally fine using this up. Also, I would like to use a Creamsicle, which is a nude pink, not nude pink, a nude peach, a nude peachy color. So it'll be a nice one for summer as well if I'm wearing a heavier eye. The two I would like to use up in the fall and winter are Candy Apple, which is a warm red. And as you can see, these are basically full. Like I've worn them all a couple times, but like a handful of times, but they're basically full. And then this one is Cherry Tart. This is more of a true blue-based red. So I would like to use up all of those lip products in six months while still using up my lip gloss and lipstick that are part of my project 20 pan so we'll see about how all that works out but that's my goal so some face products that I would like to use up I would like to finish this Lara Geller spackle tinted primer it's in champagne it's just like a soft kind of not glittery but there's some like there's glitter in it there's some shimmer in it it's about halfway. This is two ounces. This is a ton of primer and I've been working on it for quite a while, pretty much this whole year. The only other primer that I've used was that small Tarte brightening primer. So other than that, I've been using this every single day. It's just taking me a long time, but I really want to get this out of my makeup drawers because it's big, it's bulky, it's been around forever. And I do actually take this down onto my neck because they they tell you like on QVC to do that, so I assume that that is an acceptable way to use up the product without, you know, hurting anyone's rules. <laughs> the other product I would like to use up, or another product, uh, Hello Flawless Little Foundation Sample. It's like, I used up about a third of it. This isn't whatever the lightest color is. I'm pure for sure, ivory, whatever. It's kind of dark for me. Maybe when I do, if I do any self tanning, I'll be, it'll work better. This is the only foundation I chose because I have a lot of foundations and I don't even know which ones I like anymore. So I just need to go through them, but I figure I can at least use this one up even if I don't like it that much because it is a sample. I would like to use up or at least make a dent in it, this Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. This is actually really beautiful. Like it's a gorgeous gold color. But if you don't use it every day, it has a pump. If you use, if you don't use it every day and you start to pump it out, it like gets crusty and gross and that grosses me out. So I just want to use it up because I don't like that. And I guess I could depot it, but I'm afraid then it would dry up because that's obviously what's happening in the pump is it's drying up. And I can also mix this with lotion and put it on my legs or even just down like the very center of my legs. Um, just to add some highlight or like on my clavicle or something. Okay, so I am back. I'm sorry I had to stop that. And now, um, obviously, the sun is gone. The fire alarm went off in my building. So I had to leave my apartment. Anyway. <clears throat> so I think this is, I left off with the Josie Marin Argan Luminizer. I just want to make a dent in this. I think it should be okay. I think I should be able to make a dent in that. Um, some more makeup products. This is a mini Becca watermelon beach tint. I really like this. This is a deluxe size sample. Um, it came with fig in like a double pack at the checkout line at Sephora. I don't really like fig. It's uh, a little bit too brown for me, but I do love this color. It is a beautiful color. I love using it as a cheek, um, a cream cheek color or on my lips. Either way, it's beautiful. I just want to make sure I don't forget about this one. And it would be awesome to use on vacation, to use like for natural days. So it's just something that's nice that I can use that's a little bit not, you know, it's different than my powder blushes and stuff. I also would like to use up this Wet n Wild Coverall. This is a powder. I haven't even opened this one yet. It's 
I got it when I had a coupon. It was like a dollar fifty or something. I got it because I saw my Laura Geller Balance and Brighton was running low, so I was like, oh, I should go get another powder. Despite the fact that I still have powders, like this is before I started my Project 10 Pam. Um, so I had purchased this and I just want to use it up. It's not, I don't even know, I haven't even tried it, so I don't know if it's good or not. I just want to use it up. Also from Wet n Wild is this Color Icon Single in Brulee. I have used up one of these before and I have not used this one at all, but it's very similar to Blank Type. I can use this up. I don't think I'll have any problems using it. I just want to make a bit more progress on my shadows and my Naked 2 before I move on to using that one. For a cream shadow base, I would like to use up my other Mally Shadow Stick. This is in the color Gunmetal. It's basically full. You can see like it's still at the top even when it's rolled all the way down. So I still have a lot of product left in this. Yeah, I still have a lot of product. But I would like to use this up. I have so many cream shadows and I know they don't last as long as powders. And I figure the sticks will be easier to use up than the pots. So I want to use up, that's my only other Mally shadow stick. This is the MAC Eye Cole and Teddy. This is a really beautiful color. It's a nice warm brown with some like subtle shimmer to it. Um, yeah, I don't have any problem with this pencil. It's just kind of old and I don't want it to start drying up and breaking off like my MAC Chromographic pencil is. Also for eyes, I would like to use up these four samples of primer potion. This came in my Naked 3. It's the original Eden Sin and the anti-aging primer. Okay, so it said on like the box for the Naked 3 that each one of these is enough for a week's worth of eyeshadow primer. Please let me know if you can go through this much eyeshadow primer in a week. You must have gigantic eyelids. Like I, I have no idea. This is enough eyeshadow. This is enough shadow primer for like a month. So each one of these is probably going to take me a month to use up. But that's okay because I actually just finished up my NARS one. And I figure I can just get rid of these. Like I just want to use them up. And if they dry out or whatever while I'm using them up, fine. Whatever. I have other eyeshadow primers. I just would like to use those up. I also would like to use up this e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is just big. I've had it a long, I've had it such a long time. It's basically full. I've only poked a few holes in it because I've used it to like set lipstick colors and set under my eyes a couple times, but I'm going to start using this probably as an all over powder because I just want to use it up. So I think that's all of like my makeup items that I want to use up, which is a lot. I didn't choose any powder eyeshadows besides the Wet n Wild Brulee or any powder blushers because I would like to go through those products, my powder blushes and my powder eyeshadows and probably sell some of them, give away some of them, just pare down my collection. I'm sorry that my camera seems to be shaking a lot. I have it on a precarious makeshift tripod. So I'm going to try not to make it shake. Um, so. The next product that I want to use up in 2014 is this La Vanilla Vanilla Grapefruit Deodorant. I don't know why I purchased this. It was one of those things, you know how like sometimes you just buy stuff, you have no idea why it just happened? That's what happened here. It's full. I've had it for like two years. I never use it. I just want to use it up. So I'm going to probably start using this at night just to use it up because I personally don't trust it during the day. So I'm just going to try and use it at night and see if that is a way for me to use it up. So the next thing, oh, I should have gotten this out. I want to use up these perfume samples. Oh good, one of them fell out. So they're all from this company called Comptoir Sad Pacifique. And they have one, two, three four, five, six, seven, seven samples in here. They're all like this, the little samples. Um, they specialize in like beachy fragrances kind of. I don't know if that's their specialty, but they have a lot of them like that. And this was a sampler set of some of their best sellers. Um, I was interested in purchasing one of their fragrances, so I bought this sampler set. 
but I haven't used it because I've been trying to use up other fragrances and I don't know I just got distracted so I really want to work on using this up plus they're great for travel they're great for the summertime they're great for my purse I don't think that should be too hard because I can use up a fragrance sample in like a week well probably less than a week for me because I use a lot so I'm thinking I could get that done in like a month those seven fragrance samples the other fragrance sample that I would like to use up in 2014, or not a fragrance sample, it's a fragrance, is my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is their skin scent. They don't actually call it a perfume or anything. They just call it a skin scent, and it is a 3.4 um, ounces. It's I'm about halfway done. I really love this. I love how it smells. This is kind of old, though. This is not, this is like at least three years old so I just want to use it up before it goes bad because I do really like how it smells it's perfect for summer and because it's a skin scent not even an eau de toilette or an eau de parfum I feel like I can use pretty much and I do love this scent oh, it's just it just reminds me of summer it's just like perfect summery fragrance um, and that's like my favorite fragrances basically is summery ones so we did makeup, we did fragrances, where to skincare and body care. Let's do skincare first. So I have a few small sizes of things that I want to use up in terms of skincare. The first one is this Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. This is 15 mils. I got it free with some little sample thing when I ordered something online somewhere. I don't remember where, but I've only used it once. It's it's a mask. It's not bad. I just don't know if it does anything. So I just want to use it up. It's just sitting there looking at me. So it's time to use it up. Um, another small thing that I have is the Bosha Sabutsi Beauty Oil. This is 8 mils. This came with a 500 point set with two peel off masks. Their white mask and their black mask. I don't like peel off masks. I discovered that. So I'm hopefully going to be selling those or giving them away to someone. But the beauty oil isn't bad. I hope I can use that up. It's not. It's a small size, so I should be able to, in my opinion. I would also like to use up my Clinique Pore Minimizer. This is a thermal active skin refiner. This came with some kind of set because it says not for individual sale on here, and it's one fluid ounce. This is super, super, super old. I just want to use it up. I don't even care if I end up using this like on my... It's a kind of a scrubby, if I remember correctly, so if I use it up on my feet as a foot scrub or something, that's totally fine. It's just been chilling in there, sitting there, and I would not be comfortable giving something this old to someone or selling it to someone because it's too old. <sighs> One of my more stretch or reach goals, you know, ones that are less likely to happen or less, like to, less likely to be fulfilled, is this Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil. Um, this is 1.7 fluid ounces and it's right about there so basically full this is really old and the top of course it didn't do it this time but like you can see this top is kind of gross like it got all grody it's old and it just needs to be used up so whether on my face or maybe as an after shower oil maybe I could use it like that as an after shower oil once I'm done with my macadamia healing treatment oil, maybe I can use it in my hair. But basically, I just want to use it up. It's been sitting in my vanity forever. It's getting gross. I want at least, I would love to just at least get halfway on it. Halfway. My last thing for uh, skincare for my face is this Pons Clarent B3 Cream. This is like their dark spot corrector. And the second ingredient in it is... Um, niacetamine, niacetamine, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that's B3 and that does help to clear up dark spots. As you can see, I'm about, you know, in the middle of the word ponds, so I'm pretty full and this is seven ounces. This is a gigantic container of moisturizer and it's quite thin, so you don't need a lot. It spreads far. This does wear well under makeup, so I would at least I would love to finish this. I don't know if I'm gonna if it's gonna be possible for me to finish it. Um, it's not quite heavy enough for a night cream for me, but maybe if I mix some beauty oil with it, like whether the Tarte one or the Bosha one, maybe then it'll be moisturizing enough for nighttime for my skin. Oh, I forgot. I have one more thing. 
So these are, this is also from that Ola Henderson holiday set that I bought. It's the Power Peels. It's two of them. So the first step is the almond polish. This is its lemon strip slash something. And then this is the Chamomile Comfort facial mask. So they're both like three step things. Physical exfoliant, chemical exfoliant, and then um, a relaxing mask. A soothing mask, that's the word, soothing mask. So I just have to use these twice. I'm a little scared to use it though because I heard they're pretty intense. So I have to update you on that one, but I would like to use both of these up just because they're easy. It's easy. It would take me twice and then it would be used up. I just have to keep thinking, you know, these little things, get those done first because then those are checked off and they're done. So as for body care stuff, I have three hand creams I would like to use up. The first one is this Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I'm down to there. This is a really nice basic moisturizer. It works really well on my hands. Um, it was really good. I used it on my face this winter when it was really, really cold and my face was like wind chapped. It worked amazing for that. But now that it's summer and I have a ton of other moisturizers, it's a bit too heavy for that, but I love it on my hands. It's a great moisturizer. I've just had it around a long time and I want to use it up. It's almost done. My second hand cream is the Josie Marin Lift Argan Oil something intensive hand cream in vanilla apricot this came in a set i'm about a third of the way done with it i do really like how it smells it smells amazing oh, i love her vanilla apricot stuff it smells really good but i just it's small i just want to use it up i just i have so many things and i'm so sick of having so many things i just want to use them up and then this baby this is going to be harder this is a four ounce hand cream that's scented falling in love these hand creams, I have used up a Pure Grace one before from Philosophy. They're quite thick. They use shea butter in them, so it is a thick hand cream, but um, it is really nice. I just have to use it, but I'm going to use those two up first because they're closer to being done, and then I just want to finish this one up. My last moisturizer, of t oh, no, it's not even my last moisturizer. The next thing is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil in Be True, which is an unscented. This came in a set with this. Um, this is just small, and I know I can use this up, so I just want to. I haven't even un done it. It's still sealed. But I've used her whipped body butters before, and I do really like them. I just want to make sure that I use this one and it doesn't sit around for when the queen comes or something. And I need to have really soft hands. So... <clears throat> You know what I mean? Like, you feel like you save things. It's like, you're saving them for what? For the queen? Like, you know, it's not going to happen. You just need to use them up. So, I have one, two, three, four, five shower gels from Bath & Body Works I would like to use up. I think I bought these last year around this time during their semi-annual sale. And I just, I just need to use them up. I can't use them every day because they dry my skin out too much, but if I use them every other day, I'm hoping I can make a dent in some of these. And this isn't even all of my shower gels. I still have more shower gels than this, and it's like, it's becoming so stressful and taxing just to even like manage all of these items. It's almost like becoming a job to, I have to like inventory things and check on them and, and you know, make sure what do I have? What do, I don't want to buy anything that's the same. So it's just, no, I'm done, I'm done. We're using stuff up. We're not buying stuff. We're using stuff up. So, my first one, just to show you the scents quick, Wild Honeysuckle, Bally Mango, Rio Rumberry, Vanilla Coconut, which I do really love how this one smells, so this will be a treat, and Forever Sunshine. So... I feel like I should be able to use those up this year. Um, and I really want to use up my candles and my hand soaps too. Oh, and FYI, I don't know if any of you have purchased any of the new Bath & Body Works hand soaps, like the ones in the newer packaging. Those are not antibacterial. Those are like regular non-antibacterial hand soaps. So I'm not going to buy any more of those. I bought two of them like a while ago well not a super long time ago but a bit ago a couple weeks ago or something um i'm not buying any more of those 
I use hand soap like that like after I cut raw chicken or you know I'm dealing with gross things or I have to put my contacts in I can't have bacteria in on my hands before I put my contacts in and I certainly don't want to not wash my hands with antibacterial stuff after I've touched raw chicken like raw poultry mm, no way that's just way too dangerous so I just wanted to let you guys know I don't know if anyone else knew that or if you've already noticed that but just an FYI so my last item and one that will be hard for me is this Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant Rich Feeling Lotion for Healthy Glowing Skin. This is 20.3 fluid ounces. Look at the top. Do you see the dust on there? That's how long it's been sitting here. It's just sitting on the top of my makeup drawers. I don't use it. I never use it. I never, ever, ever, ever use it. I think I've used it like twice. Since I purchased it which was two years ago three years ago I just need to use this up I need to get rid of it I am that's gonna be I'll probably use this one first because it's little but after I use that one I am using my Vaseline cocoa butter one until it is gone Do you see this determination in my eyes do you see the determination I am NOT letting this one live to see 2015. Mm, this one is going to be out of here. It's going to be out of here in the recycling. recycling bin. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of lip products, um, a lot of shower gels, a lot of hand cream, but it's a good place to start. And this isn't like Project Pan where these are the only things I'm letting myself use. Except maybe that body lotion. I might not let myself use any other body lotion until that's done. But these are just things that I want to get done in the next six months. If I don't get everything done, that's okay. It's not like, you know, I didn't achieve a goal. My goal is just to use some of these up. And by specifically, you know, picking out the ones that I wanted to use up, it's helping me because then I know... I'm just going to try to be more cognizant of it. It'll help me be more cognizant of the items I want to use up. And especially like, I do not need to buy any more lip products. I already have like 11 I need to use up in the next six months. So no more lippies for this girl, even though it's very tempting, but no more lippies for me. I need to use, except maybe lip balm. Like if I run out of my Jack Black lip balm, I'll buy another one. But other than that, no more lippies. I have enough gloss. I have enough liners. I have enough lipsticks. I have enough of everything. I just need to use them up. So if you guys are doing products I'm going to use up in 2014 or if you film one back in January, please let me know because I can't find everything. But um, let me know if I didn't watch it or didn't comment on it so that way I can check it out. And hopefully I can give you guys updates on this. I might make a list like I did with my Project 10 pan just so I know what I'm what's on my list. And that way I can update you and be more accurate when I do those updates because I basically still have like my Project 20 pan going on. I just finished my Project 10 pan and I have all these going on. So I kind of have a lot going on at once, but I'm trying to keep them all in order in my head. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry this video ended up being so long. Bye.